Good morning, children. This early morning session is dedicated to class 9. And I'm going to just brief the summary of the lesson. Uh, yeah, the bond of love by Kenneth Anderson, chapter 9 of class 9. Kenneth Anderson, the bond of love by Kenneth Anderson. Well, the bond of love is a wonderful story of emotional bonding between a human mother and a bear baby. See, this, this story is about a wonderful relationship between the woman, uh, the narrator's wife and a bear. It so happened that the narrator and his friends went for a hunt they sought the, uh, you know, sought a mother bear, uh, sloth bear, mother bear dead. They saw, they noticed a sloth baby bear sitting beside its mother anxiously. The narrator ran to it, captured it and put it in a gunny bag. The narrator brought the baby bear back home and gifted it to his wife. Since then, his wife and the baby bear grew and they had an intimate relation, just like a mother and a baby. The narrator's, mother, the narrator's wife loved the baby bear so much so that she considered the baby bear as her child. Eventually, the baby bear grew, uh, I mean, taller and it was very difficult now to handle him. Now, the grown-up bear was not easy to handle. Therefore, the, the narrator and his wife decided to send it to the Jew. The grown-up bear was sent to the Jew. Both the mistress and the bear lived in isolation in a stress situation. It was very difficult for the narrator's wife to live without the bear because the bond of love was so strong that she never, I mean, slept uh, soundly. She, she, she had to visit the Jew once or twice. Eventually, when she visited the Jew twice, the, you know, the bear ran up to her and, you know, they just met as if uh, two, I mean, mother and child have met after a, hu a huge separation. The, the nurse's mother requested the superintendent of the Jew to hand, hand over the bear and ensured him that she would create an island and a free, I mean, a space for him. And now the bear was brought back home. It was retrieved back home. And the narrator and his wife created an island and free land for the bear. The bear was kept there. And the bear spent a wonderful life over there. Every, I mean, day the narrator's wife went to meet him and spend time with him. And thus the bond of love kept intact. This is how the story suggests that even an animal understands the sense of love. A bear also perceives the sense of love from the human mom. And the relation is so strong, the bonding is so strong that they can't live without each other. And thus this story highlights the importance of bonding and relationship between two, I mean, persons, either a human being or an animal. Even animals, you know, become intimate to us and it is very difficult to uh, stay away from them. This, this is why this story has been given in this chapter, just to emphasize the fact that bonding can be between any two living beings. It is not necessary that only two human beings can be intimate to each other. Even an animal, if it is kept with love and affection and brought and nurtured, it can become your childlike, I mean, e emotional being. And therefore, uh, this story uh, really uh, highlights the, a wonderful bonding between a woman and a bear, a, a wonderful relationship between a bear and the narrator's wife. Thank you. Have a nice day ahead.